set up my three views. With the auxiliary, you technically don't need three views because uh, the auxiliary will count as one. But I'm just leaving all three of them here. I added my head and line center. I didn't add center lines. To add an auxiliary, I'm choosing the option that is next to projected. What this is going to do is create a view that is normal to the inclined surface. So it's perpendicular to the plane of projection. The way you do it, you select the tool, select the edge, move your cursor, and it will create a view of that face. So in a situation like this, I probably could delete this view because I don't need all four of these. Or I could delete um, this one. It really doesn't make a difference to me. And I can move this into location. I'm just going to leave it set up like this for now. With your center lines, do keep in mind that they need to follow the orientation of the part. So I am going to the quadrant here. And on this side to draw my center lines into place. They will uh, adapt to the orientation of the part. So that is your, your wedge support. Um, again, I will post this one. If you guys want to take a minute to work on setting that up, most of you have it designed. If you don't, <laughs> spend this time uh, working on something you need to, whether it's a sheet, 